I'm concerned about the the effects for future generations. Um, uh, I have five children myself, and um, concerned for their future. I mean, we don't own our own home. It looks like they'll never even have the prospect of owning their own home. So, for so for from that point of view, that's what concerns me about lockdowns. You know, the economic devastation, but also the health repercussions. You know, I don't know how we're going to have a healthcare system. Um, if we're going to shut off our economy for, it seems kind of almost like, um, you know, setting a whole house on fire just to sort out, I don't know, a plumbing issue. And I'm not belittling what happens health-wise for people suffering whatever whatever health concerns they have. I just think that, um, I don't think it's proportionate. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, that's really my, my main, I mean, I, especially since everything else got shut down, all the other every other health um, matter and issue didn't seem to matter anymore so cancer screenings uh, cancer care everything shut off for, for weeks months on end uh, I just I think it's gonna be a devastation like we, we can't even comprehend at the moment I mean I'm uh, I'm not an expert on anything I just I just I just think that I just think that all this fear can't be good for the nation. I, as soon as all this fear started getting pushed to the the, the nation, I, I immediately felt this is very wrong because fear immediately is going to shut off every every other kind of um, critical thinking, um, uh, your 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 immune system, your ability to to deal with just daily life. Everything shuts down if you if you use if you're in fear so when fear started being pushed on the whole nation I, I i immediately i immediately felt this is so wrong you don't do that you don't do that to people um it can't be right um because I, i'm a former anxiety sufferer i do still suffer anxiety but uh, i was severely suffering beforehand and i learned through lots of different means to deal with it um and i just know that uh if you put people in that state uh, it's, it can be you, you, yeah, you can't, you can't function, and you're shutting everything else off. And, and I just, yeah, that's that's my, I, I feel really strongly about it, especially from the point of view of children, because I think that kids have been taught to fear. Um, I think we're going to see, I think we're going to see a lot of mental health issues in the near future, starting now. I mean, yes. Yes, that, exactly. As soon as I heard that uh, phrase, actually, I immediately thought that that's going to actually cause... Back in March, when I heard it first, I thought, okay, because I come from a, a family where, you know, we've, I've had... The, I know of a certain family members who've suffered, you know, particularly OCD and anxiety disorders, and I thought, this is going to... This is going to stick with people. This is going to cause some psychological issues that were, you know... I don't think people are even considering that. Um, of course, like everyone else at the beginning, I didn't know what's proportionate, what's right or wrong, but I still felt it's wrong. Yeah, I suppose more balance and more uh, a, a, a variety, more variety in who they debate, who they get to, on to speak and, and, and all of that. So, uh, yeah. Um, and again, the, the, just the brainwashing tactics, the, 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 the constant barrage of fear-mongering is just, you know, it's unconscionable, I really think. Um, so yeah, that'll be, that'll be my opinion anyway.